Hi, my name's uh, Harvey Jones. I'm the chairperson of RECAP, which is a society for the resilience and engagement of the community of Ashurst and Pahongana. Our primary mission and purpose is to promote the sustainability, diversity and resilience of the greater Ashurst and Pahongana region. We do that by promoting education under permaculture ethics, which is earth care, people care and fair share. Permaculture is a design philosophy or intentional design on how you care for the earth and how you actually create the environment we may wish to live in. And that includes not just agriculture, but the way communities work together and people work together. Our various projects include a community orchard and a community garden behind the library in the middle of Ashurst. And these are used for various workshops which we conduct. The garden shows people how they can grow things and how it can work to be a living space as well. And the orchard is a way of showing people how to prune. We make compost there. And these are workshops that the public are invited to come along, sometimes at a small cost. Other workshops we do, such as sourdough making, fermented foods, earth building. And we've had lectures from people who are passing through on all sorts of things. Recap was built on peak oil philosophy and the problems that will generate when oil runs out. We've got other problems now which include possible economic shocks, climate change and just the transport shock could stop all the stuff from coming into New Zealand and we have to look after our own. So our purpose is in cover disaster preparedness and how we deal with that and how we look after the people here, the people around us and the environment we live in. Hi, I'm Jacinda Jerka and I'm the coordinator of Plant to Plate Aotearoa. Plant to Plate is a community organisation and we are celebrating 10 years this year of teaching primary school aged children how to vegetable garden and cook with the produce that they produce. During our sessions all the students get a chance to examine seeds, plant vegetable plants and feed the soil. They also create a recipe using healthy produce. We teach essential life skills such as setting a table correctly, we demonstrate proper table etiquette. We encourage the students to try a little of everything on their plate and use positive words around the food that they're eating. Our volunteers are there to support and encourage the students and our sessions are a lot of fun. It's wonderful to see these children taking real pride in what they've achieved. And these positive outcomes is something that makes our programs so popular in our community. My name's Janet Wilson. I'm part of a group that's now known as the Rohini Fair Protectors. Approximately eight different groups that are involved with predator trapping to help protect the blue ducks and the Rohinis. The Fio is a really special duck. It's a torrent duck, which means it lives in rapidly flowing water. So it's a white water specialist. And even when they're tiny little ducklings, they'll hatch out and be on the water bobbling around. The time when they're the most vulnerable is when they're on the nest. So stoats are highly attracted to the smell of a bio nest. They're very hard to count, but they estimate between two and a half to 3,000 of them. They're only in New Zealand, they're an endemic bird. Probably six pairs in this Arua Valley here. I've been told by people in the Department of Conservation that if we weren't doing this work, there would be no blue ducks in the Arua Valley any longer. The process for volunteering is to contact me, I'll ask you some questions, I'll assess how competent you seem, I'll probably set up a trip, either I come with you or you'll go out with another experienced volunteer. If you come with tramping or hunting experience and a capable bush person already with the right gear then you're very welcome. I'm also happy to provide some training or to point you in the direction of a tramping or hunting club so you can gain that experience. We provide all the training you need to do traps, but you need to be able to look after yourself out in the bush. It's hard to explain the, the feeling of being out in the bush and 
and just being at one with nature and feeling that you're probably doing some good. And if you're lucky enough to see a blue duck up here, that's the icing on the top of the cake really, it's great.